Hey, what's up? This is DHG. I'm getting back into my playthrough of Deadly Premonition, a cult classic for the Xbox 360. Let's pour myself a drink of my favorite tea here. And, all right, let's get into this. Previously during investigation, F. K. Fuck. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off Anna's tongue. Jackpot sack. A shame, but our old time bit all American sex scene tour just came to an end. When purple That's fog a bit more comes than on town, French kissing. we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Oh, well, there's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. She had a red dress on. She was a goddess. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. Yes, it may. I had a chat with Diane. She said she was at the bar drinking with Nick at the time of the murder. We need to confirm her story. Let's talk to Nick at the diner. Very well, Agent Morgan. I have to head back to the department and clear up some paperwork. Go with Emily to the A&G diner. Okay, then. It's I'll show a you date. the way. The diner's open from 9 to 2100. Just as we suspected, Zach. Is the key to this case. I have a feeling she will lead us right to the criminal. Can't take that. Wait, what's that license plate say? I love move. Yeah, I don't get it. Emily, do you know a man named Forrest Kaysen? Kaysen? Yes, I, I know him. The, the sapling salesman, right? He always uses strange comparisons when he talks. I'd like to know more about him. What does he do when he comes to town? He's a salesman, so I guess he sells things. Maybe he comes on vacation. I, we haven't seen many tourists recently, but he comes pretty often. Is that all? Well, now that you mention it, he seems quite friendly with the Ingrams, with Isaac and Isaiah. Maybe you should ask them about Kaysen. Okay, I will. How do I switch to... Oh, yeah, there we go. Good 
God, the steering controls are horrible. Emily, don't you find it a bit suffocating to be around George so much? Well, we aren't always together. And anyway, I've gotten used to him. Impressive. Women are very adaptable. No, it's not like that, actually. I mean, George is hard-headed, sure, but he's also a hard-working man. That's why the townsfolk trust him so much. The very epitome of the rural sheriff. That's right. He isn't some hot-shot FBI agent. Ooh, burn! This isn't like the city. Everyone knows everyone else. What about you and Anna? Were you too close? No, not close, really. I don't seem to have much in common with teenagers oh, nowadays. Oh, no, we did a threesome All once. they talk about are boys, clothes, and accessories. I don't have much interest in any of those things. There is a gap between a teenager and being in their 20s. Everyone's different, that's all. Me and you, too. Zach, I'm not liking the way this conversation is heading. Let's concentrate on driving instead. Where to go? Well, turn right, then left. All right. Handbrake really makes it spin out of control. That's that's a bit suffocating. Ooh, gunshot. Guns, guns, guns. The oddly named Panda Bear Gunshot. It's close. Well, fuck you two. He's got a gun shop in his house. Gun shops are the last places to ever get robbed. I wonder why that is. Oh shit, there's a gas tank back there. Maybe I can fill up. That's why when anyone talks to me about the Second Amendment, Second Amendment, I usually say something along the lines of, "You ever see gun stores getting robbed?" Nope. Why is that? Uh -huh. Hey, babe, wanna wipe my windshield? Fill her up. What the hell did? Let me know if you want me to pump it. Okay, sexual reference there. I'm guessing that this restores the integrity of the car. If they're not pressed up against the windshield of the car, it doesn't count. Five dollars for a gallon of gasoline. That's not that uncommon for people on the west coast.
gas prices won't be so damn high if uh, certain American officials would stop relying on the Saudi lords and OPEC for their oil and would just produce domestic oil and natural gas like we did under Trump. No, can't do that. might destroy the climate they say while well, all these same people put up talking about climate change by 17 million dollar houses right on the uh, three football fields away from the sea in Martha's Vineyard Obama or drive around in gas guzzling muscle cars Joe Biden or fly around in gas guzzling private jets have their own fleet Al Gore They've been pushing that climate change bullshit for over a century now. You can dig up old news articles on it. Not surprisingly, they're wrong just about every single time. The world will continue, but if you believe there's a crisis and they pose as the only savior, that's how they get power. Kind of reminds me of the war on terror. Twin towers go down, President Bush signs executive orders and passes the Patriot Act saying it's all for our safety. Are we any safer? Nope, but we have less freedom. That was the point. stand for. Any ideas, Emily? Nope, I don't know either. Air and gravity, perhaps? Access and games? Aliens and Godzilla? Who knows? Is it important to know? I mean, why don't you just ask Nick? First, I need to eat. I wonder what's good here. Welcome, Mr. Agent. Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Our she was the one that was at the art gallery. A turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? Perfect. Emily, you eat something, too. It'll be on the FBI. Turkey and gravy sounds good. Okay, then. I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. Fuck I yeah. Can't order what kind it of girl right there? A little too expensive. I can't tell you how many times it took a girl on a date and she'd order, like, the smallest thing on the menu. Like, just This is Olivia Cormack. I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I'd thank you a bunch. Yes, of course. Just a moment. Here you go. The usual. One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. What? Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Mr. Francis York Morgan, you should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. It sounds like shit. So says Mr. Stewart. No, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Mr. Francis York Morgan, I, that is, Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius <coughs> for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. Are you sure that sandwich is that good? What kind of cereal's on it? Mr. Francis York Morgan, making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, you're right. 
I'll give it a try. That looks horrible. Hmm? Oh, I can't believe it. This is fantastic. It's really good. Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry's having. This is such a weird game. Nick and Diane. They hardly make the perfect couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. <laughs> These cops are always drinking on the job. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker when I was in high school. <laughs> you? A punk rocker? <laughs> Nobody took my side. Even when I had good grades, people rejected me just because of what I wore. I was young back then, too. Yeah, I dressed that way in 8th grade. I just don't see you as a punk rocker. <laughs> Spike bracelets, leather jackets, all that stuff. No makeup on. Rested uniform, eating a steak for lunch. Okay, okay the steak for lunch is what stood Let's out to me. To what kind of school did he go to? We usually got served mystery meat. Time to talk to Nick. Time to talk to Nick the Dick. Hi, Olivia. How are you? We talk in beeps and boops. Apple and gravy. Gravy, me, what? I'm sorry, that just doesn't sound good unless it's intended to be sweet. My God. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Yes, I can. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. You always no. have to invite vampires in. Zach, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. Nick the Dick. What's up? At least he was honest about that. Said I'm working here.
I don't know. Okay, I guess I'm going to talk to Emery. Cahoots. They could be in cahoots. The whole town could be in cahoots. It could be a global conspiracy. There's something I'd like to confirm with you, Olivia, if that's okay. Yes. Well, so long as it doesn't take too long. First, what were you and Nick doing on the night of the murder? I was here in the diner. Nick said he was going to the bar for a couple of days. Does he go to the bar often? Leaving you to hold up the fort? Yes. He says he enjoys the conversation with Diane. I thought they went drinking again together that night. She Do places a lot of trust together? in him. Well, Either see, that or she I just really doesn't care. Art. And your husband is well versed in the arts then, I take it. Oh yes, um, looking at art and talking about it is his way of relaxing. <laughs> People just aren't what they seem. Like a certain someone who was into punk rock ten years ago. You are absolutely right. Emily. So that would place him in his mid twenties. But you can be an art lover and a liar at the same time. One more thing. You just said that you aren't interested in art. That's right. And so, how come I bumped into you at the art gallery? Yeah, what's it up with like that? Nick brought you there. You were there alone. I, well, I like trees, is the thing. That's why I went there. Surely you'd be better off in the forest rather than an art gallery then. Uh. I think you went to the gallery not to see trees, but to see Diane, right? Uh, uh. You don't want to answer. Or perhaps this isn't the right Perhaps she's getting ask. in bed with Diane, too. Meet me in the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there for an hour after we close up. They close at 2100. Should we get something to drink and wait? She's an alcoholic. Agent York, what do we do now? I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes. Okay, then I'm gonna make a trip back to the department. I'll see you in the backyard later. Okay, sounds good. See you later then. Agent York's already having backyard rendezvous with the locals. Back about Olivia. I presume she wants to tell us something about Nick and Diane. Let's hope it's not just something for the gossip groups. I can't beat up the car. Damn. There's something in there. Oh wait, no, it's not in there. It's on the outside.
Okay, what can I do until what time? Might as well go back in here and see if I can pass time. Just a random Dalmatian walking around. Hey, there's that funky guy. FK You it Looks like you don't watch your diet at all. You coffee card. Oh, I'm gonna get yelled at again. I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Hey, I'm working here. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No. Get the hell out of here. Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. M meet me in the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there for an hour after we close up. Uh, apparently I can't sit down here. Okay then. I don't know what day it is. It's 10 p.m. I need to find some way to pass time. I guess I'll go back to the sheriff's department.
Oh wait, where's that bar at? Galaxy of Terror? These two dudes are still standing here. He does is eat. What? Hey, what exactly are you asking? I was just wondering what you thought of her cooking, that's all. You know, perhaps an unbiased opinion of one who is himself a fantastic chef. So how about it? Have you eaten her cooking? I have. Just once. And how was it? Well, that's not an easy question. Honesty is the best policy. How can I say this? Cut it out, Agent York. He's pleading the fifth. He has the right to remain silent. Don't try and force him to say something. He has the right to an attorney. George, and what are you trying to say? Anything I say may be used in a court of law. Let's just let the topic of Emily's cooking go, okay? I can't do that, George. I want to know. I guess it's just my curiosity. So tell me, Thomas. Well, for lack of a better word, let's just say it's Amazon-style cooking. Ah, that was well said. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh, you were lacking words, were you? <sighs> Let's get back to work. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Go down to the jail cells and take a nap. Gotta sleep off all this food. And kill time. I sleep nine hours on this thing, I think. Looks like we came at a bad time. Let's get out of here.
Hey, George. Just doing squats. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. I did. Oh. <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Oh, Arnold was the dumbbell. So that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Zack, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Fence looks different down here. Oh, this looks breakable. Ah, there we are. I wonder if he has a heart attack if he keeps sprinting. reasonable to find some 10 millimeter bullets in the mailbox. I'm just rooting around at some random person's home. Suspect. Oh, look at that old school TV. I mean, that looks really old, like 70s old. Anna, where are you going? Don't leave me. Oh, her mama. You there. Do you know where Anna is? Yeah, she's dead. Anna. My dear Anna. Zach, let's do this later. I don't think we'll get anything out of her like this. Oh, the bedroom. Where's your panty drawer? Does that say rude? Rude awakenings, yep. Uh, 
wonder if they slept in the same bed together. That would be a bit weird. Be kind of like uh, Charlie and Frank on It's Always Sunny. A study. It would be nice to have one of them. I'm guessing that was honest. I like hot dogs, but they're so dense with calories and they're small. I'd rather have something that's got a bit more heft to it. Okay, I just became aware of use the heavy cigarettes to pass time. So that's what I'm going to do. Well then, Olivia, talk to me. Y yes. In the beginning, Nick only went to the gallery during the day. But he went so often, at some point he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together. Yeah, friendly is one word for it. until early morning. Diane says that they were only drinking not being able to talk about Turner and Red. That is the worst of excuse. I can't, can I? So what can I say? I mean, I couldn't take it anymore. So I followed him. He did go to the bar to start with. Diane was there too. But the real problem is where they go to next, right? So I waited outside the bar see where he might go and and they eventually left the bar and headed for the art gallery but it was it was already early morning but it was still dark just before going inside diane turned around it should have been too dark to see me but i swear her eyes looked right at me they seemed to flash for a moment I was so rattled that I left and went home. The next day, Anna was found dead. I, I didn't know what to do. Diane about it to confront her 
And once I was there, I couldn't find the courage to go through with it. Then I saw you there, and I just felt I had to go home. Nick has been seeing Diane every night recently. <laughs> he just left for tonight, too. I, I, I really don't know what to do. Divorce him? <laughs> York, we have to take Nick in for questioning. No, not yet. This alone isn't enough. This is Emily. Agent York is with me, too. I've just received word from Thomas at the Sheriff's Department. Something has happened at Becky's house. He was called in by Quint. Who's but it Becky? Making any sense. We have no further details. I've sent Thomas over there. Can you go back him up? Yes, sir. Wasn't Becky Thomas's sister? Okay, looks like I know where the next, next chapter is going to be starting off at.